Who's really the best running back in 2023? Well, that's what we're here to find out. Let's get everybody. Hope you're having a super blessed day. And in the class of 2023, over the Rivals 24-7 Sports and ESPN Top Player Rankings, there are three separate running backs who hold the top spot. And so if all these different recruiting sites have three different guys as the number one running back in the country, we got to really find out who's the number one guy. Now, real quick, if you want to be the number one guy in your fantasy league next year, I want you guys to go check out today's sponsor, Campus the Canton. Guys, the fantasy football season is right around the corner. I don't care if this is your first year playing fantasy football or if you're a seasoned vet campus the canton gives you all the tools that you need to dominate your fantasy football league and campus the canton is changing the game by having a full player breakdown of every college recruit meaning that you can finally play college fantasy football. Campus of Canton speaks for itself, so go check out campusofcanton.com. And when you guys are ready to sign up, use code SHARP to save 10% off of your first purchase. So let's jump straight into it and see who really is the number one running back in the class 2023 between Cedric Baxter Jr., Richard Young, and Ruben Owens. Three, two, one. Psh. All right, let's first take a look at my guy Cedric Baxter Jr. coming out of Edgewater High School in Orlando, Florida. Also, that's another cool thing. All three of these guys are in different... Actually, no, I take that back. Not all three of these guys are in different states. The, top, the other two guys are in Texas. Oh, get the sliding on him. Okay. I like the burst. I, lo I love the burst. Oh, get the stepping on him. He runs aggressively. Obviously, you guys know this is touchdown. I want you guys to look at the footwork right here. Boom, boom. Those two little jump cuts, and especially because he's jump cutting up into the hole, those are great. Boom, boom, and then gone. That's a, that's a great run right there. My, my, my man's just out here just breaking off 90 yard touchdowns like it's nothing. Hit the sideline. Nice blocking downfield. And then get to sliding on him. Okay. Oh, yeah. Cedric Baxter, he's got it. Yeah, he has, he's extremely twitchy in the hole. I mean, look at this. Boom, 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 boom. Just, he hits that side. Oh, cut back on. I, I thought he was about to cut to the outside. I wasn't excited to cut back. Boom. That's a great run right there. That's a phenomenal run right there. He is so explosive with his jump. His change of direction is powerful and explosive. This is this is exactly what you're looking for in a college level running back. This guy, because normally when you see these guys, they can make the jump cuts, but it's not. It's more so for the flash rather than like actual power. Like you could tell, like when he puts his foot into the ground, he's maintaining a lot of power. That's why guys can't even arm tackle him. Because normally when you're making a juke, that's when you're going to be your slowest, so that's going to be the easiest to tackle you. He just explodes through all of his cuts. I mean, again, look at this footwork in the hole. Boom, 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 boom. Squats down, changes direction with ease. And then once he gets into the open field, he really opens up his stride and can really just let go on people. Sit him down, little boy. You ain't playing no games out here. Yeah, Cedric, he does a phenomenal. I mean, look at the change of direction right here. Boom, boom, boom. Nope, screw it. Cut back on that. Great vision. Run through that. Nope, all y'all babies. And then slide on them. Get to dipping on them. Now let's take a look at Richard Young coming out of Lehigh High School in Lehigh Acres, Florida. You can definitely tell it has very similar footwork in the hole. Russ just trusting his speed to split all that. That's just nothing but trust. Nice little cut back, little jump cut right there. And then look at this skinny little lane that he's about to run through. Nope, 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 nope. That's crazy that you just put your foot to the pedal and just go through that. Very explosive out of out of the stance, run through all that. Ain't, ain't nobody bringing me down with no little weak tackle. Again, all these guys are going to be extremely explosive out of the backfield. There you go. It's the way to separate through all that. Get them off you. Yeah, he he has phenomenal acceleration, oh my, bro. He literally. One step gone, top speed already gone, just gone. Like he can hit his top speed with a quickness. Oh, just jump over that, y'all. Let's go. Great, 
great vision to see that that cutback lane. And then way to keep it balanced. Ty ah, I thought it was one of the tire of the side all the way. And last but not least, let's take a look at Ruben Owens coming out of El Campo High School in El Campo, Texas. Bro, look at the footwork. Wait a second. Hold up. Bob Boy says, scoop, scoop. Nope, 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 nope. Cut back. Nope. Angles all y'all. And then just bounces it to the outside. That's crazy. That's patience, vision, explosive. That's all that. Nope. I, I don't know what he was doing with that spin move. That's not going to fly at the next level. But, oh. Give me your angles, little boy. Wait a second. Wait a second. Number four. He said, no. Oh, oh. You played yourself. You played yourself, my boy. Runs through all that. Keep keep the legs churning. And then just get a slide on him. Then just get a slide on him. It's too easy. Yeah, one again, another dude. Once he gets into the open field, he is able to just pull away from guys. Nice cutback. Yup, get him up off you. Get to sliding. Get to sliding. Get to sliding. Yo. Hey, whoever this is, I give you props for running it all the way down, but you were never going to be that guy. It's sad to say. Yeah, Ruben Owens, he, this kid can just flat out fly. And I've seen him in person, and this dude, he can catch the ball very, very well. I've seen him in the seven on seven circuit. He can catch the ball extremely well. So all three of these guys have a very clear right to their piece of the number one running back in the country title. However, there can only be one. So if I had to rank them, I think that I would actually have Cedric Baxter Jr. as the number one guy, barely. I think like literally if Cedric Baxter was at 100, I would have Ruben Owens at like a 99.5 or like a 99. It really just depends on what you're looking for. To me, Cedric Baxter Jr. is a more well-rounded college ready running back. I mean, again, when he puts his foot into the ground, it's powerful. You can see the difference with Ruben Owens. When Ruben Owens is doing it, it's, it's quicker. It's to make guys miss rather than, I'm gonna make you miss, but if you don't, if you actually do get a piece of me, I can still rip through it. That's where I would have Cedric Baxter a little bit higher. So if Cedric Baxter was at number one, I'm putting, I'm putting Ruben Owens at like 1A, 1B, and then I'm having Richard Young. To me, the other two guys just do what Richard Young does just a little bit better. Richard Young, I think, might be the fastest out of all the guys. I think he, when he gets really gets going, I think he has the most speed, but the other two guys just kind of do what he does just slightly better. So I would have like Richard Young at like a 95, I'd have Ruben Owens at like a 99, and then I have Cedric Baxter as at 100. But I want to hear from y'all. Comment down below. You guys just saw the three best running backs in the country. Tell me who you guys think is the number one running back in the country. Also, while you're down there, leave this video a like, and also hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications. We're on the road to 300,000 subscribers, and we keep you up to date with all the latest college football recruiting news and just everything that has to do with high school and college football. And with all that being said, I love and appreciate all you guys, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.